Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma Fave, and I'm still in my painting motivation rut. So like I love to give you guys tips on how to get out of this, I am again taking my own advice and why am I going to stress myself out with coming up with my own painting when I can just paint something inspired by someone else. So that's what I'm doing today. I am gonna be attempting to recreate Van Gogh's painting of 12 sunflowers. Is that what it's called? Vase with 12 sunflowers because it just looks like a really fun textured piece. I need to try something new. I am not gonna put pressure on myself to have it look exactly like that, but just gain some sort of inspiration by trying to recreate it my own way. So that is what I'm doing today. Um, and yeah, let's jump in and see how it turns out. Okay, so today I am going to try my best to recreate my own version of Van Gogh's vase with 12 sunflowers. He did so many different versions and paintings on su of sunflowers, but this one, I just really love the colors in it, so I decided that we're going to give this one a go. Um, and like I said in the intro, I'm not going to try and make it exactly the same. I kind of want to just gain some inspiration. I love the textures he used, the colors, um, and I'm just going to try my best to do something similar. So that's what we're doing. I have my Arches watercolor paper taped down just to a board just so I can pick it up and move it if I wanted to. It's an 8 by 10 taped down with painter's tape so I have a nice little border. I'm also going to try and incorporate my Caran d'Ache uh, watercolor crayons in here because I think it will provide some really cool texture um, and I'm also going to pro probably use it for like an outline and then I also have my Winsor Newton professional watercolors here my Emma Lefebvre craftable brushes and we're ready to begin okay so I think what I'm going to start by doing is just kind of creating an outline and I'm going to do it with my crayons just because it's water soluble then you won't see a pencil mark underneath so I'm just going to grab like a light yellow <laughs> you know what let's even do a red let's do or like a brownish I don't know we're playing around today we're gonna see how it goes and I'm just gonna do kind of like a rough sketch of this piece so I will put the piece on um, the corner up here <laughs> so you guys can see what I'm doing or trying to replicate and again it's not going to be these exact same so for my patreon I actually did uh, I re tried to recreate Starry Night by Van Gogh, which was a lot of fun. Um, so I thought I would try and do another one of his just because it was a lot of fun to do and I wanted to do it again. Um, this sunflower piece because I love flowers. So I'm just kind of just marking out where some of these sunflowers are going to go. I feel like I might have done this too big. Mm, it's fine. <laughs> Maybe just make them a little bit smaller. And again, it does not have to be the same. Okay, trying to just gain some inspiration somehow because I'm still feeling in my rut, y'all. I'm just like not feeling it. Okay, so I have this kind of idea of where some of these things are going to go. And because I'm using a watercolor soluble or water soluble uh, crayon, once I go over it, it will kind of dissolve in with the color. Um, maybe I should have used yellow. I don't know. But the one thing that I loved about this piece was the background this like turquoisey color so that's what really kind of made me want to do this one um and i did i think i just said i did starry night for my patrons and that was a lot of fun so i really wanted to try this okay i'm going to start with the sunflowers and they're very textured so i'm thinking i'm going to lay them down with watercolor first and then i'm going to go over with the watercolor crayons okay so i'm gonna Start with the flowers, I think, down here. I'm just going to grab my size 12 brush, and it looks like they're very kind of like yellow ochre and cadmium yellow, maybe. I'm just going to wet up my yellows here. Let's just wet up the whole palette, get it started. What the heck? Then see what colors we need. So I'm going to do a base. Of just some yellow and then maybe I'll go over with some darker yellow so some of these sunflowers look <laughs> interesting um, and see how the line goes away once you kind of go over it with uh, your water and your color so it's like this weird sunflower shape 
like that. There's going to be some green in there as well. Maybe I'll just grab some green. Again, does not have to be the same. Do one over here. There's a green center of this one. I think like this part is okay to do, but I'm excited to really get the watercolor crayons in here because I feel like just adding the texture is one of the most fun parts. So that's what I'm looking forward to do. Grab some lighter yellow. And so this is another one of my tips. As you guys saw, like, what was it last week? <laughs> I was struggling a lot with finding inspiration of what to paint. Um, it's just, I don't know. I go through these seasons, these little phases where things just feel hard and unmotivating. And I don't know if it's the weather, like it's been really rainy here, but it, it, I can't always blame it on the weather. Um, sometimes it makes a difference, but other times it's just, I don't know. Nothing's really sitting right with me, so I'm just having a hard time lately. So this is one tip that I do suggest kind of doing is that if you're having a hard time coming up with your own ideas for painting, there's no harm in being inspired by others. There's no harm in following others' tutorials, you know, like you don't always need to come up with your own ideas. And I find I struggle with that a lot because I am a YouTuber and I need to come up with content that people will enjoy. And I'm like, kind of trying to come up with ideas that get me motivated is really hard. Like people can give me ideas, but sometimes I'm just like, I don't want to do that. Or I don't want to do this. You know, it's really hard to sit at my desk when I'm just not feeling it. And that's just kind of how it's been lately. So this is just something I thought, you know what, let's attempt to do something completely different that I've never really done before. I've never done this kind of Van Gogh painting, so I thought I'd give that a go and <laughs> hope that people are interested. So I'm just like, the one thing that I'm so far I'm really liking about this painting is that because I'm releasing that pressure of not having it be exactly the same, um... I, I can just kind of wing it and go with it. So I'm looking at the basic shapes. Every time I look at a reference photo, I look at the basic shapes of it and I see how the distance is from one another. So like if I'm looking at a flower, sorry if I'm saying like a lot, my brain's gone. Um, if I'm looking at a flower, I would see the shape and then I kind of look towards the next part, like how far away is it? How close in distance? Is this one bigger than this one? Is this one smaller? That's kind of how I gauge how big or small to put things, um, how uh, to get proper proportions. And that doesn't always work out, but that just sometimes is what I do. So hopefully that's sort of helpful. I don't know. Um, but that's just kind of how I approach doing this. So then I notice that there's another one up here. This sunflower is kind of in front of here. So we're going to see a bit more of this one. It also has like a green in the middle. But yeah, sometimes when you're just in your funk, the best thing you can do is just maybe follow a tutorial. Maybe, um, I don't know if you guys have seen some of those create, create me books where they give you prompts and stuff. Sometimes that's what you need to do as well. You know, you just follow someone else's prompts. Uh, might be really inspirational to do that. So there's so many things you can do when you're not feeling it. So this was one of the things that I was like, you know what? I'm going to try something new. Um, and we're going to see how it goes. Okay, so there's another one over here. I kind of like, like his style of flowers where it's not super realistic. You can kind of just be really loose with it. So right now I'm just placing the base of the yellow of where all these flowers are. Okay, there's one up here that's like a side view. There's like a yellow petal kind of flipping up into the center. And it's a brown center. And then you have these like spiky petals. You know what else I might do too? Because if I'm still feeling like this by next week, I might do another Bob Ross and watercolor tutorial. I haven't done that in a little while. And those are always fun to try and attempt. <laughs> 
I don't know if you guys, if you guys have not seen that, I've done, I think, two videos where I follow Bob Ross. And they're hard because he paints with oil painting and I paint with watercolor. And it translates very differently uh, to watercolor. So you kind of have to plan things out differently when you're doing it. But it's, it's a really fun challenge. And again, I don't really have to think of a specific concept or idea. I can just follow someone's tutorial, but then also have a challenge of how am I going to do this to make it look like that. So that's always fun. So I might do that. Now this flower up here is missing, like it's supposed to be up further and smaller, but I don't have enough room. I went too high with this. So I'm just going to, should I make it smaller so you can see part of that stem? So pretend that's the center. I don't know. My proportions are definitely off. But that is okay. I feel like you'll still be able to look at this and go, oh yeah, that's Van Gogh's sunflowers. And I'm just going to kind of scrub out those lines from the crayon. Ah, I'm missing one. There's like a side view one here too. <laughs> My proportions are way off, but that's okay. Way off. Yeah, there's supposed to be a bunch of like the background color in here. Oops. It's all good. Just gonna do a little side version there. Okay, like that. And then there's one more down here. <laughs> okay, and there's some green over top of this. Okay, so I'm gonna add in, in here there's brown, but I didn't want them to bleed together just yet. So I'm thinking, do I want to add in the background now or work on the sunflowers? Let's start work on this vase thing. So that's like a yellow ochre kind of color. So, but only half of it. There's a lot of yellow in this piece. So I'm going to try and go around this. And there's quite a lot of highlight in the center here. So I'm starting off with my light wash. Then I'm going to go back in with some more color towards the sides. And leave this kind of light. Like that. I may even grab a little bit of brown. Just put it at the sides. Like that and then the bottom is like this purpley color i'm gonna wait for that to dry so it's like pretty sharp okay let's do i'm gonna add in some like the brown in here yeah it's dry okay i'm gonna add in the brown in that center and that's like more of like a ready kind of brown so i'm gonna grab some what's it called <laughs> burnt umber with a little bit of windsor red and I'm just going to carefully go in the center here. Like that. And then I'm going to grab some darker brown, some of my sepia, and just kind of dot it up and give it a little bit of texture because the one thing with this is that he did oil right so there's lots of texture and oil so trying to achieve that with watercolor is a little tricky but you can do some things like that with um, creating two different colors and then like dabbing motions and all that stuff and I am going to add the crayons at the end so let's grab that color again because this part is also dark brown, but there's also like a yellow circle. Mm, you know what, I'm gonna do the yellow circle after with the crayon, because it should be kind of opaque. You can draw over top of it. Like that. And again, just kind of dabbing. to get a little bit of texture. So that's brown. 
And then this one here is like a light brown, not as red. It's kind of more on the orangier side. I'm gonna grab a bit of orange. Maybe a little bit of red, like that. I'm gonna do this circle. And then another circle in the middle. And then it's like black, kind of like a black ring there. This one has like a red center. Which is a really fun contrast in this piece. And then the center's black of that, so I'm gonna leave that. And I'm just gonna focus on some of the centers of these. So I'm gonna grab some sap green. There's that one that one then there's some like green within the back of some of these sunflower bits and I'm going to go over some of these parts as well oh this one is green there's also a bit of brown in the center too There's some green back behind some of these petals. And the stems, which I forgot to kind of make room for, but that's fine. <laughs> it's all good. There's a lot of green in the back of this one. There's a leaf here. This looks pretty messy, but that's okay. There's definitely supposed to be some room for some of the stems here. <laughs> that's my bad. Oops. It's all good. And then this one. Kind of comes down. There's like some olivey green with like spikes kind of coming backwards. And then some kind of folding over. And then some around actually I'm gonna leave that because I can do the background and then put that green over top it'll just be a little bit easier to layer um is there any more I think I'm gonna deepen the greens over here so some greens there just going over some of these parts and the great thing about those crayons is that they're quite opaque in some ways so you can kind of um, just draw over and you'll see the color so that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing oh the center of this one too I forgot green and then it's orange around okay before we do more of that, I'm going to do the purpley thing down here. So it's like this muted purple. So I'm going to take some purple, some my Winds Windsor Violet, some Hooker's Green to mute it, and then a little bit of brown. Yeah, it's like this grayish brownish purple. Try and 
grab a bit more purple in there. Like that. Needs a bit more purple. And I'm just going to do kind of like textured marks like that just to give it a little bit of something all right okay so just want to make sure things are dry before we continue so let me wait for it to dry okay now that that's dry I'm going to go over some of the sunflower parts to make it more textured so I'm going to grab some of my yellow ochre and then like this I'm just going to kind of do this like sunflower kind of petally shapes this one's like going backwards it's almost flat it's interesting grab a little bit of green a bit of green kind of here at the center and then I'm gonna leave it because I'm gonna do some more with the crayons okay this one It's really hard to try to achieve this texture with watercolor because I also don't want to add too much of these strokes because then it will just all blend together and get lost. Right, when you have a bunch of wet strokes together, they just blend. So over here. This one kind of goes around. Like that. This one has like a center here and then some little, I don't know. <laughs> This one is an interesting kind of like swirl for the center. Like that. And then these petals are just more like outlined. almost with like an orangey too. And then same with a bunch of these ones back here. So this one, oh yeah, that was part of that. Oops. I'm just going to outline some petals here. This one is orangey in the middle, kind of lines coming out. And then more yellow. Like that. This one has this kind of black around the center here. See, this is losing its texture, so it's like I gotta go back in kind of and add some textured dots. And then we're outlining this one I like the sunflowers that are more like outlined I think those look really cool <clears throat> and this one's also outlined This one has a dark center, like that. And then that last one up there, it's a dark center, yellow, and then outlines. And 
And just a little bit of dots like that. Okay. So then I'm just going to go over with some darker yellowy brown and just kind of do more texture on some of these. But make sure it's dry first so you get that full effect of like layers. And if you're waiting for some of that still to dry, you can wait and then do another area. I feel like some of these centers need a bit more texture. They're just looking a little too flat. You know, there we go. Same with this red. There we go. Okay. Now this vase is looking very flat. So I'm going to grab some yellow and I'm just going to do some dry brush. So I don't have a lot of paint or water on my brush. I'm just kind of scratching. To get some texture. Maybe a bit of brown too. Like that. There we go. And then same thing with this. I just washed off my brush, kind of dried it, and I'm going back in here. It was just damp. It wasn't really wet. And I'm just kind of scratching for texture. Okay, I like it, I like it. <laughs> I feel like this needs a little bit of texture too. And that needs a yellow in the center. Okay, let's do the background now because that's kind of the part I'm a little bit more intrigued about. Okay, so I'm gonna do the background here and it's more like a turquoisey blue. Part of me is kind of trying to match this color. I really love the texture that these give off, so I'm wondering if I should just do it with this. I think I should. Oops, I'm pushing my tape away. Now I can even mix colors. Which one is this? This is light blue. Let's make sure it's the color I want. That's close enough. You know what? Let's get a little bit of like a greeny turquoise in there too. This one is called Jade Green. It's really nice. So I'm just going to kind of mix it over top. You can always mix it on a palette too first, just like scratch it onto a palette and then, you know, bring it over. If you've seen my other videos where I use the Caran d'Ache palette, I might grab it in a little bit. I like this so far. I think this looks pretty cool. This is fun. This, fe this feels therapeutic, right? Like I'm not... It's very loose. It's fun to kind of recreate. It's not intimidating too much. Like you're just having fun, right? So then I'm just rendering it out with some water. And the texture that it leaves behind is really great for this piece, which I'm really enjoying. I think the tricky part is just going to have to go around the flowers, but again, it's not a big deal if it's not perfect. There's that background. I love that color. Okay, and then the base here is like this kind of yellow ochre color again. I think I'm going to use these just because I love the texture that it's giving off. So this color is golden ochre and then this one is just ochre, I think. Slightly darker. But just to give a little bit of a variety. 
and go darker under here, even though it's not really like that in the photo. These are so fun to use. Okay, so there's that. Now while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna go over some of the flowers with these and I think I might just leave it, like leave the just the drawing, you know? Just so you get that kind of crayony texture and I'm just really loosely, I'm gonna get a little bit darker. And I'm not even going to render this out. I'm just going to kind of leave it. I think this one might need a bit darker. These ones with the outline, I don't know. Maybe just do a couple textured bits. Hmm, I feel like I need a little bit of a darker brown for some of these. Nope, not that, even darker. Darker. I have Van Dyke brown here. Grab some greens. Oops. Remember this one? I said I was going to add the green there. You can, because green easily layers over top of the blue. I knew that would be okay to do there. Then these ones. that. I'm going to grab some yellow, do some dots, see how it layers nicely, nice and bright. Um, some of these yellows I can just lighten up a bit. I don't know, just kind of having fun with this. Some yellow here as well. Oh, there's the yellow that's here that I didn't do. And then some of these petals are outlined with yellow so I'm gonna do that I feel like you could just keep on going with this whole piece and just have fun with it I'm gonna grab some orange some of these are outlined with orange as well like the stems and stuff I feel like this is just kind of making me want to be a bit more creative with my own artwork so see like I'm not producing this to be sold or anything, but it's kind of making me want to paint something similar to this. You know what I mean? Just have fun with it and not be so, oh, it has to be perfect and realistic or, you know what I mean? Just go with it. I'm gonna outline some of these petals. Cause this is just a lot of fun and very carefree, but also looks really cool. So I'm having fun with this. This one needs to be a bit more defined. And yeah, my proportions are completely off for a lot of this, but that's okay, right? And grab this bright orangey red and outline the face. You know, just be a bit more bold with color. Like, why does everything have to be so particular all the time? You know, we just start to learn these things about ourselves. Maybe a certain way we paint or draw and just kind of, 
You need to learn how to let go and try new things. And sometimes, like, just enjoying someone else's art and trying to recreate it gives you this outlook like, hey, maybe I should try something completely different because you might really like it. Like, this is just fun. So I feel like the background, I want a little bit more, I don't know, I want some of these different colors in there. This is one of my favorite colors in the set of the Caran d'Ache crayons, the sky blue. It's so pretty. It's like this purpley kind of color. I'm just going to kind of do random places. Now, if you really wanted to add a lot more texture, you could always grab out some uh, oil pastels. That's what I did for the Starry Night piece that I ended up doing for Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> Patreon. Um, which added like so much texture and really made it look like a Van Gogh piece. Um, so it's totally up to you if you wanted to do that. But this is just, I'm kind of digging the crayons for this. Like that. And there we go. I think I'm going to stop there for now. Kind of wish I did leave more space in between for the background. I feel like it's kind of getting too lost. Like they're just too cluttered. I'm going to add some more blue in there. See if I can separate it a bit. Kind of. That helps. I love these crayons. You can just go right over top. There. Okay. And that's... That's that. Oh, wait. I wanted to add some white. Like in the picture there. There we go. I could just keep going forever. All right, let's take the tape off and just get the full effect. Because that was a lot of fun. I actually feel a lot more inspired to paint after this. And like just play around with different mediums and try new techniques. So I think this worked. So there we go. There is our vase of 12 sunflowers, I think it's called, <laughs> um, piece by Van Gogh or inspired by Van Gogh. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if there are any other... Uh, famous pieces you'd like me to try in the future because now I'm really kind of up for this challenge. This is just a lot of fun and very therapeutic so I definitely suggest you give it a shot yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for lots more content. Have a great day. Bye!